When you drink alcohol, here's what happens to your whole body, and this is what you can do about it with science. Everyone always thinks that the main reason that you feel bad the day after drinking alcohol is because of dehydration. But what a lot of people don't realize is that alcohol is not actually that toxic. See, that won't actually be toxic unless I swallow it. And the reason is, is because until this gets in my body, it will not turn into acetaldehyde, which is actually the toxic byproduct of alcohol. Through an enzyme called ADH, it converts into something called acetaldehyde. And acetaldehyde is 20 times more toxic than alcohol is itself. And that is kind of what's happening to your liver when you drink alcohol is you're basically, the acetaldehyde is uh, burning your liver. What your body's trying to do is use an enzyme called ALDH, and at a rate of about one drink per hour, it is going to neutralize it and convert it into acetate, which is basically just non-toxic vinegar, and then you pee that out in your urine. 20 to 40% of the reason you feel bad is acetaldehyde exposure. Dehydration really only accounts for 10 to 20% of the reason you feel bad the day after drinking alcohol. 50 to 60% of the reason you feel bad is GABA rebound. Alcohol binds to a specific receptor on the brain called GABA, and this is what makes you feel relaxed, carefree, and generally good. The problem is, is that when your BA declines, you go into a state of rebound and you crash. And so that's your brain feeling like it's on fire. And it doesn't feel good when your brain is on fire. Of course, a lot of people will then turn to Hair of the Dog or Bloody Marys, which is where they basically just drink more alcohol the next day. And as you can guess, that makes them feel good. The reason we would say that GABA rebound is the main reason you feel bad the day after drinking alcohol is because if you drink more alcohol the next day, then by the time you get to the same BAC that you were at the day before, you'll feel totally fine. But it proves our point that the reason you're feeling so bad is primarily because of GABA rebound. If it weren't, then drinking alcohol the next day wouldn't be so wildly effective at making you feel better. This product right here is called Cheers Restore, and it's an after alcohol aid and you just take three capsules after your last alcoholic beverage or before going to bed to support your liver and help you feel better the next day. The best metaphor that we could think of when it comes to the patented combination of dihydromyrestin and cysteine within Cheers is that it is kind of like a fire extinguisher for both your brain and your liver. We can actually have L-cysteine bind to acetaldehyde, and this will form a non-toxic compound called MTCA, which is effectively just a neutralized form of acetaldehyde that is no longer toxic, and then our body will then basically just pee this out in our urine. But there's another ingredient in it as well called dihydromyrestin. Rather than alcohol leaving our bloodstream and leaving these receptors uncovered so that they pop when you drink alcohol, DHM is binding to the GABA receptor and it is satiating this receptor, which is going to reduce this rebound. And so rather than popping like a normal balloon, that's not actually going to happen. We are basically back to our baseline level state, which is not overexcited like it was with the alcohol, but nor is it completely deflated like it was with the ice water. Cheers was on the season finale of Shark Tank and we have sold over 35 million doses. This right here is our one dose. You can find it at 7-Eleven, Circle K, and a whole lot more places coming soon. This right here is our three pack and you can find it at Walgreens. CVS and a whole lot of grocery stores. And this right here is our value pack, which you can get online on TikTok shop, that site run by Jeff Bezos, as well as our own page. And it is less than three bucks a dose for 12 doses. So whether you're drinking wine, spirits, or beers, always remember to cheers. Science.